Okay, so we've talked about uh, refraction, and we talked about things like um, which way it bends, uh, light bends when it enters another medium. But as far as calculating exactly how much, uh, we're going to use something called Snell's Law. And this nicely uh, defines the process so that we can calculate exactly how much uh, a wave, whether it be light or something else, uh, refracts when it enters another medium. So here's a couple images. One thing to just uh, be aware of the angle of incidence is here. It's defined as the uh, angle between uh, the incoming light ray and the normal. So in other words, if I give you this over here, this angle, uh, you would need to know that oh, I got to do 90 minus whatever angle I gave you to find the angle of incidence over here. So it's between the incoming ray and the normal. There's the angle of incidence. And the angle of refraction is also defined between the outgoing uh, ray of light here and the normal. So we have to also say optically less, uh, more or less optically dense medium. We can just say density of the medium, but it turns out that's not really accurate because um, you, you might think that light would refract when it enters uh, a medium of more that's more dense. For example, corn syrup is more dense than water, and indeed, uh, it, light will refract when it enters uh, um, uh, corn syrup from water. But uh, it, it's not true uh, with, for example, vegetable oil. What vegetable oil is less dense than water, but the index of refraction is greater than that of water. So there's a uh, we have to say it's more optically dense, and that gets down to the molecular structure of the, uh, the substance or the material. So here's um, we're refracting away from the normal here toward the normal, uh, and here's the the refractive index is a measure of the, uh, the ratio between the uh, sine of the uh, incident and refractive angles, and specifically, here's uh, one way to write Snell's law. It's the ratio of the indexes or indices, and equals the ratio of the sine of the, the two angles. Notice that uh, uh, the index one is down here and the sine one is down here. So the product of these two, n1 sine one, equals n2 sine uh, sine two or sine theta two. And uh, just as a reminder, this is really a measure of how the ratio of the speeds of the wave and the, the two medium media. Okay, here's a here's an example that's worked out. Uh, again, here's Snell's law. Uh, C is uh, this essentially the same as V, or it stands for velocity. Um, and here's an example. You can that, uh, you can work this up. Cover up the answer right here. Don't look at that that says theta two is 16 degrees. Uh, oops. Uh, so you can cover that up and work this out. And um, uh, this is a degree symbol here, even though it's not superscripted. So. Uh, and you can quiz yourself. And I think uh, that's all we'll do on uh, Snell's Law, because we're gonna, actually going to do some experiments in, in the lab with this. So, yeah, the next one is diffraction. Okay, so that's it for now. We'll talk to you, talk to you later.